The Browning Road well came to McFarland in 2011, making it the city's newest well, but recently was shut down in the past six months due to findings of high nitrate in the water. I'm Ruby Rivera, your McFarland neighborhood reporter, and although this well is shut down, city officials say this does not affect your drinking water. How many wells does the city of McFarland operate on? Uh, three. And so now we are down to? Two. How does that affect the residents? As of now, the water pressure has stayed steady. Is uh, the water safe to drink? Absolutely. Speaking with the McFarland Mayor Saul Ayon, he says he understands the confusion that's been left on residents' doorsteps. Mayor Ayon says when the nitrate was found in the water six months ago, notices were mandated by the state to be sent out. If one of the other wells goes down, we would have to use this well. And the, for them, it's better for to notify the residents in case, you know, we can't notify them in time. But as of now, we we have it on our website, social media. We the notice starts with a bold warning that nitrate had been found in the water and what to avoid, but fails to mention that the Browning Road well was officially closed October 1st, 2023. The mayor later shared this notice on February 20th, which explains when the well was shut down and the actions that are being taken. Mayor Ayon says samples from the wells are sent to the state monthly, and after the nitrate discovery in August, a second screening later solidified the city's decision to shut down the well. When we retested in September again, the levels came out to like over, over just over 10. And then we made the decision to uh, shut down the well completely uh, because during the winter, we, people don't use that, that much water. He says on top of the closure, the pump has been replaced and cleaned out, and the city has applied for state grants and programs, with the end goal being to install a nitrate treatment facility or an entirely new well, which could cost up to $7 million. We're a disadvantaged community. We need that funding. So, and um, and they're, they're aware of it, so we'll, time will tell as far as when they make that decision. The city is currently on a waiting list for state funding, but are unsure of when those fundings will be released. In the meantime, the well will continue to stay shut down indefinitely and will operate on the two remaining wells in the city. In McFarland, I'm Ruby Rivera, your neighborhood reporter.